Welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how I made this large Christmas tree bow topper. I am using 2.5 inch width ribbon with wire and I picked up this pretty Merry Christmas ribbon at Sam's Club. For this bow you're also going to need a zip tie, you're going to need some floral wire, and if you don't have a zip tie and floral wire, you could use a pipe cleaner if you wanted to. First, you're going to want to take your ribbon with wire and you're going to let out a long tail so that it can cascade down your Christmas tree. So that just depends on the height of your Christmas tree. Then you're going to pinch it together in your left hand and you're going to make a loop and place it in your left hand and I am making seven inch loops. And it's easier for me just to go ahead and place my ribbon on the floor when I'm making a large bow like this one. Then you're just going to bring the ribbon up and make another loop, pinch it together, place it in your left hand, try to make your loops the same size each time, go back to the other side, make another loop, pinch it together and hold it in your left hand, Go back to the other side, make another seven inch loop, place it in your hand, and you're just going to go back and forth, back and forth, trying to make the loops the same size on each side until you get the bow the size you want. I did do a total of 12 loops for this Christmas tree bow topper. It is going on my mother's Christmas tree. Just be patient and take your time making your loops and keep it nice and tight in your left hand. Just kind of let the ribbon flow, don't fight with it. Just take your time, try not to let it get twisted up. If it, the loop's a little too big, pull a little bit and make it smaller. And just take your time and be patient. I have been tying bows for over 20 years. I started out paying $10 to have a lady at the florist to tie my uh, bow toppers for my Christmas tree and then I decided one day I was going to watch her and learn how to do it myself so that I wouldn't have to pay someone to make my bows. Sometimes when you have ribbon with a print or design on it you have to twist the ribbon to keep the design on top so just do a half twist to keep the design on top when you're making your bow. And remember if you get the loop a little too large then just pull on the end to make it a little bit smaller. Then I've got the bow the size I want, 12 loops, so I let out a long tail. Now I'm going to take a zip tie, and I'm going to take the zip tie and make it nice and tight around the center of my bow. So get it nice and tight around the center, and then in just a little bit, you'll see me take a piece of floral wire and thread it underneath the zip tie. That way I can easily attach it to the top of the Christmas tree or whatever craft project I'm working on. This is a beautiful bow for a wreath or what a garland or whatever craft project you're working on. It doesn't have to go on top of a Christmas tree if you do not want it to. Then you're just going to take your hand and put them in each loop and fluff and shape your bow. And that's it guys, you have a beautiful bow. Now remember seven inch loops and I made 12 loops and I placed one of the big loops in the center of my bow. I hope this bow tutorial helps you. If it does, please let me know. I love hearing back from you. Also, I have a bow tutorial playlist on my YouTube channel and I will link it below. Plus, I have one I did for a slim Christmas tree, a six and a half foot slim Christmas tree, and I did it with three different colors of ribbon. So I will link that Christmas tree bow topper tutorial for you too, just in case you would like to use more than one color of ribbon to make your Christmas tree bow topper. And here I just threaded the wire underneath the zip tie and now it's ready to put on top of my mother's Christmas tree. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas.